Today I'm going to be talking about how I make my punchy house kick drums. And I'm sure there's tons of different ways to do this, but this is just how I do it. And I've had reasonable success doing it this way. So go ahead and get yourself a Kong. Just initialize it. I don't really like the, the presets on there. And then uh, go down here and browse drum pack patches. And so I'm going to start off by uh, just layering the drums. That's just the easy way to start. So I'm going to go to re Kong Sound. Uh, it's a great bank of sounds. They have tons of really nice samples in here, as well as their synthetic ones. But um, let's see. So the there's last time I did this I used three big drums and like these that one has like the tail that I like but the the start I mean the the click and the start of the drum I don't really like too much is that the abyss actually you know see I don't have the link so I'm I'm gonna start with the 404 it's got that nice tail, but the click could wa be way better. So now, go to your next one, do the same thing, go back in the Kong Reason Sampler, oh, not sampler, um, samples. So now, I'm going to look for some, a kick that has a nice click, because the Abyss has the low frequency tail that I want that gives it a bunch of like body after the attack, but now I want that really nice click, or just like the punch in the beginning, which is the higher frequencies before it goes down to the low ones. So I'm just going through all these. do that but it has this like kind of rattle that I'm not looking for right now. See these two are alright. Uh, you got a weird kind of like stereo thing there. I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. So then you link them up here in the pad group. And I don't like the kind of rattle on this, so I'm going to bring down the decay. Down here. Because all I want is that initial kind of click on it. I like... I'm all about the like kind of you'll find me going towards a more like clean or like synthetic sounding kick drums just for some reason that's how I like it <laughs> and so I'm gonna get one more before I'm done that cause that one has some high frequencies but then have like all of it that's actually no I want much higher So now I'm just going to go ahead and put a filter on this one. Hi, See, I don't like the rattle on that one. I think I'm just going to get a different one. I mean, this is what I do just about every time I make one of these because I don't, I don't want to use the same one. Or, and when you do this, you're going to find out that you're going to eventually find and make better kick drums than you have before. You're happy because of it. See, that was it. I'm just looking for a really clean MIDI. Mid. Sound. Even this, this will do fine. This one needs to be brought out. this one see now you're getting that kind of like click which is what I want and 
right now what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm kind of like isolating the frequencies I want out of that sample because if you have a bunch of samples that all still have their like less than 500 hertz still there you're gonna get mud and that's not what you want you want to isolate the samples so they don't overlap and mess each other up so let's see Now I'm going to I'm actually gonna try band pass on this one. So I'm just gonna put some notes in the sequencer now, because that's gonna just make it easier to test the drum while I'm doing this. So I don't have to keep clicking it while I'm turning knobs. So now I have these three going, and I'm going to try to beef the middle one up a little bit more because it's kind of funky right now. I wish they would keep the. I wish they'd show the frequencies on here. Make my life so much easier. down the decay again and I didn't put a little compression on there. So now I'm gonna actually filter this one down a little bit. It's actually got a nice click in it too. I'll just leave it. Compress it there. form of those the house kick drums are in question right now those are they're mad compressed they're just plopping up against the zero db line all the time so now i'm just going to put compression on there just compress it a little bit this is all the signals put together all right so now we got the sample that I'm going to render now. So, and another thing that's important to remember is that when you, uh, like at least when I did this before, when I would uh, render the notes, they wouldn't all, like all the kick drums would not sound the same. It, you'd look at the waveform and the program and you'd notice that they're not they're not the same. And also, I um I exported in high and low fidelity. Like, I mean, let me show you. So you're gonna get this little window that comes up here. Oh wait, no, wrong one. So export loop as audio file. Okay. Wrong destination. And so I'm just gonna say. 